before we begin, I want to apologize for the fact that I have a bird and he will probably be screaming in the background. And also for the fact that the voiceover will probably be terrible, because I have tried to record this too many times. So before we begin, you need to download Asset Studio and Blender. These are both free. There'll be links in the description. Okay, go to Steam. Okay, once you have those two things, right click your game, go to manage, browse local files. Copy this up here. Close this. Open Asset Studio. File. Load folder. Paste. This down here should just say Ultra Kill. And then click select folder. I already did it, so I'm not going to do it again. Once everything loads, go to Asset List. Filter type. And select Animation Clip and mesh. When you click a mesh, you should be able to see it like this. Find the model you want, right click, so go to scene hierarchy. This should pop up. Just click this back in the asset list and select mesh. And um, this part is a little annoying because the animation names aren't that descriptive. Just pick one and see if that's the one that you're looking for. I already know which one I'm looking for, it's this one here. So just click it, model, export selected objects, and selected animation clips. I created a folder just to store it in. Save. This should pop up here. That's good. In Blender. Import. Now, you will have this option. I have this one. This is a paid for add-on, but there are ways to get it for free. I'm sure you can figure it out. I will link the paid one in the description. I'm going to show you how to do it the default way though. So click that. Uh, go to wherever you stored that model import. Now, as you can see, it's very messed up. If you use the add-on, this won't happen. But here's how you fix it. So click this down here. This is the armature. Edit mode. Press S and move your mouse up to make it bigger. So we are trying to scale the skeleton with the model. So uh, click this, click in front. and uh, go back to object mode. Things should be better, see? Okay, now we're gonna fix the sword. Click this. Press on your keyboard, Alt and P, and select this option. Do the same for the other sword. Okay. Now you can hold shift and click this. Or click any of the bones, it doesn't matter which one. Go to pose mode. If this isn't highlighted, just hold shift and click it. Now press control P and select this option. Back to object. Select this one, hold shift, click this, back to pose mode, and do the same thing. Now the swords should move, they don't move a ton, but 
As you see, they moved. Okay. We are going to fix these textures because they're very blurry. Also, uh, for this animation, the wings are not supposed to be visible. I will show you how to do all that. Okay. Go to shading. Click uh, the whole thing. Under linear here, click closest. Now, you see the pixels are not blurred out. Okay, I just made it look more like it does in the game. For the wings, we'll do the same. For the swords, we'll do the same. Okay, if you want to turn the wings off, what you can do is, let me see, turn off the shadows, uh, disconnect this, and turn alpha off. Now the wings are invisible. And uh, yep, that is pretty much it. I don't think I mentioned this, um, I believe these are 30 FPS, I'm not too sure. It's either going to be 30 FPS or 60, if you select 60 it will play faster. I don't know. Anyway, that's it.